Me encuentro aquí mismo en Cheval Blanc con uno de los grandes vinos de esta misma eh, grupo, Chateau d'Iquem. Y estoy con la directora enológica de Chateau d'Iquem, que es Sandrine Garbay. Garbay. Ok, Sandrine, eh, this is a pleasure for us. Yes. To, thanks for this warm welcome, indeed. We're in Cheval Blanc, but we would like to know some things about Chateau d'Iquem. Yes. Chateau d'Iquem is well known in, in Mexico. Yes. But how would you define um, Chateau d'Iquem, the style of Chateau d'Iquem? Because you can identify the difference between other kind of sweet wines. Yes. What is the difference? What is the style? How do you define the style of Chateau d'Iquem? I think um, the style of Chateau d'Iquem is to Uh, preserve uh, for each vintage uh, uh, the elegance of the wine, so a, a very well balanced wine. And I think that in Chateau Niquem it's a sweet wine, but you forget the sugar when you taste Chateau Niquem, and probably uh, the the sensation of sugar on the palate uh, disappeared because the balance is very good. So I think it makes the difference between uh, the sweet wines. In Ikem you have always the sensation of, uh, of um, power, but elegance at the same time. Um, I was surprised because last year, Chateau de Ikem, uh, 1811, was sold in $125,000. Yes. How do they know, or how do you know, as a technical director, that that wine was good? It was in good condition. Yeah. So, uh, the, 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 we have some um, um, old books in the chateau where the vintage mm -hmm. was described. So we know that 1811 was a wonderful vintage. And, uh, Uh, indeed, uh, I have tasted it one time because we did uh, in the chateau the recorking of all vintages. Mm -hmm. And one day, um, um, people come with a bottle of 1811, and I have the opportunity of tasting it. Tasted it oh, really? one time, yes, and it was a really very good vintage with a lot of freshness, which is really incredible. The color was dark, really dark, like caramel. The nose was um, with a lot of torrefaction uh, flavor and um, uh, prune flavor, dry fruit. But on the palate, it was incredibly uh, fresh, really. And uh, the sugar was here, but you forget them. And it was really interesting vintage. Sandrine, uh, tell me something. Um, Maybe it's a, it's a common question for you, yeah. but uh, how many years can I keep a Chateau de Kim bottle? If I buy, if I yes. uh, if I uh, uh, if I am able to buy some uh, some bottle mm -hmm. or at least one, yes. how no? How many years I, can I keep it? I think uh, you can't keep it over centuries. Why? Because of the sugar. Yes, probably because of the sugar, because of the noble road process, because you know when the fungus botrytis develop on the grapes, it makes a lot of oxidation, so the wine after that are very stable against oxidation, aging and so on. That's why probably those sweet wines from noble road age so good. It's because of the, the the oxidation, very early oxidation on the grapes, then the wines are really stable during the, the centuries. Sandrine, it, it's an honor for me to, yes. to be with you, indeed. Thank you very much because You're you put, and it fills your heart. Yes. It has a spirit, it has a mystery, it has a, a soul yes, in exactly. this wine. Thank yeah. you very much. And last question, because I know you're busy. Um, what would be your message for the Mexican consumers? Please try Ikem. Uh, it's really Can you hold it for me? A, uh, an incredible sweet wines, and, and um, I think um, um, you have to try it with uh, many food pairing um, because people don't know very well how to drink those sweet wines. 
and be sure that there is many opportunities of tasting uh, those sweet wines with uh, lobster, with uh, uh, langoustine, with wow. uh, um, uh, shellfish and so on. So please try sweet wine, sauternes wine, alicam uh, with wood. Sandrine, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Merci. We wait uh, for you in Mexico. We will be pleased yes. to welcome you in Mexico uh, yes. when you did your visit. It would be my pleasure, really. Thank you so much. Merci <laughs> beaucoup. À tout à l'heure.